Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton in Art to Life, and today I'm going to talk about studios and and when you need one and what you can do until you get one. And for me, it was always hard to know when to rent a studio or to figure out I needed more space. When you start out, you you just need a kitchen table. You just need half a kitchen table, you know. And you need a kitchen or a place, just a little place. And then what happens is you start, you're doing this thing so much that you want to leave stuff up because it saves so much time. You know, it's one thing, it's like, oh, once a week, maybe I'll play around. So you clear the table off and then you put things down, but then you got to keep clearing it off. So uh, as you get more into this um, and you want to do more of it, then you want to leave things up. So there's that spare bedroom or, you know, you get two kitchen tables. But it's really cool because the, the involvement in the activity directs you and gives you clues as to what, when it needs to do uh, to grow into more spaces. So, and it's really based on your enthusiasm and, and how much you're doing this. But here's the thing, it's, it's especially hard to go from the kitchen table or the extra bedroom even, to a studio that's in a different place or a, a bigger space, possibly one that you're gonna rent. And that's a really hard step for a lot of people. But I would say it's the, mo the single most powerful move you can make if you wanna improve your art, if you're ready for that jump. I mean, if you're willing to take that step. It's scary and it feels uh, like a luxury and it feels like you could get by for another year or two. And I did this, so I know. <laughs> I, I worked in a lot of really small spaces for a lot of years. And, and man, I wish I, had, I wish I had stepped it up earlier, you know, because it makes such a difference in your work. And there's this thing of uh, when you try to make your work and it's going along, it's going along, and it just kind of stays the same. And part of the problem can be that you have outgrown where you're making it. And, and it actually can, it can stop the improvement and it can be kind of, it can kind of stagnate. So it's hard to know if you've never done this before, but it's a big step and it never feels easy. Usually the places you find are more than you need almost always. And but you want to go for it. And I just want to encourage you, for those of you who are thinking about doing this, you were going to do it last year, but now it's harder. You know, like this will pay off almost every, you know, it always pays off. It's an investment in yourself, in your work. Having the objectivity, which is what having a separate space creates for you, uh, makes better art when you can come into a space and you can work on something and then you can leave it and close the door and go away and then come back uh, and then you see your work fresh, that's really what a space gives you. Having more room to move around the space, to look at your work close up and then walk across the room and look at it and see it from a distance and come back and forth, it's really powerful how that um, improves your work as opposed to being in a small room, you know, when you're at the kitchen table, which you tend to work smaller because you work on a little painting and then you hold it up like that and you're seeing it from a distance and you look at it close and you can see it from a distance and it kind of works for smaller work. But the barrier for doing larger work is that you have got to get out of your chair and move up, move back away from this and put the art over there and often you don't have room. And people struggle with trying to make larger work. And a lot of times it's because they're trying to make larger work in the smaller space. You need to have that space. You need to expand and, and be able to move further apart from your work. It's just like when you're standing up and you're painting and you're using a brush and you're holding your arm and your brush far away and you're getting farther away from you. It makes a different kind of work than when you're right close up. It always feels scary, it's always too much, but from my experience, it's the number one thing that improves your work. You will, it will jump the work. It's hard not to take yourself more seriously when you're doing an activity in a, in a designated space for it. It's, it's a gift you give yourself and it's just a commitment 
to it and showing up and all of those things create a powerful um, momentum for yourself. I remember when I had a, um, I, I bought this house years ago, this little house and it was a huge step and I, I borrowed everything and um, my wife and I, we were, it was, I don't know how we did it. We scraped together a down payment. And I remember talking to my dad about this and I said, I, if we get this place, I, I will have, we won't have, we will be so broke, but we will, we could buy it. And I was, I was leaning, I was going to not do this. And, and I said, cause we can't even, we couldn't furnish it. Well, there's no way we can't put anything in it because this is so expensive and it's such a big step for us. And, and he said, you know, pretty much anyone who does this, who, who buys that house or moves in the bigger studio, you always end up spending more. You always feel out of your depth. And it's just, that's almost like for everyone, that's what happens. But over time, you kind of catch back up. But it's a big step, but it also has a huge payoff. So um, that's probably my message for those of you. This is a great time because a lot of spaces are coming free now. If you can, you know, there's alternative ways to get space where you, you know, there's stores that are closing and you can work in them for six months. It is amazing what it will do when you get far enough back from your work and you can see it. Um, I really, uh, having the, having a wall that's bigger than one painting allows you to see, I'm looking down here, I'm looking at five or six paintings. Um, and having that ability to see all the work all happening together and it's all what you're doing. It's not like you've got a bathroom here and some roommates walking by and then you've got a distracting thing over there. It's all about giving you feedback on your work, five or six things in one space. And the other cool thing about it is when a visitor comes, when someone comes to look at your work and they get that feeling that you're in this space with all this work, it's super, super powerful. And it, and it shows a commitment and it, it is strong. You know, studios have a, have a transmission to people because you tend to put all the things in it. It's the story and the birthplace of all this work. So anyway, that's my, uh, my thoughts on this. And uh, I'm, I'm just a big believer in it. Almost everyone who always asks me, it's like, well, you know, if you're gonna, if you, if you have enough for food, um, then get the studio. But I mean, it's that important for your survival and, and your growth, frankly, and just to make this really, really cool. The studio I'm standing in here, there, it was so out of my reach. And I, I taught in this, in this room to make ends meet so I could afford it. I was going to divide it into four parts and I never did because I just, it was so incredible what happened to my work. It was really how I started to paint large and how I, when I started to sell my work, it was because when I got the studio. So let me know in the comments, what, how, what you're thinking of, what your studio is like. And for those of you on the fence with this, I just, uh, just want, really want to encourage you to take the plunge and go for it. Okay. Uh, have a have a great Sunday, and for those of you interested or are new here, um, come along and join the Artists Free Facebook group, the Arts Life Free Facebook group. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff going on in there. Okay, thanks a lot. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Arts Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.